y'all, this is John Trent from Downing in the Comics. I've got some Joker news for you today. More specifically, Mark Marin has been making the headlines. He will be, uh, he's in Glow, and he will, he's, uh, will be in the upcoming Joker movie alongside Joaquin Phoenix. He specifically appears to be on the warpath, and he's not taking any prisoners as he pursues a scorched earth policy against Marvel movie fans. Marin first appeared on Conan, where he had some choice words to say about Marvel films and comic book movies in general. He told Conan, uh, quote, I have some issues with them, and I generally don't like them. I don't want to be bullied into seeing those movies. I'm a grown-up. I'm not seven, and I think those movies are for grown male nerd childs, end quote. He would somewhat walk back his comments towards the end of the conversation, saying, uh, I just don't go see them. I'm not interested. Maybe I overdid it a little bit. Uh, however, he would up the ante on Twitter. This time, he specifically took aim at Marvel movie fans. Uh, remember, Marin is starring in the upcoming Joker film based on uh, the DC Comics character. This is what he had to say about Marvel movie fans. Quote, Stop acting like outraged religious fanatics defending their belief system. It's okay if I don't believe, let it go. Also, I'm actually a big fan of a lot of comic art. Try to relax your mainstream asses, end quote. He would uh, get into it with a number of folks on Twitter. He specifically had a back and forth with uh, Slash Films' Ethan Anderton, who described Marin's comments as hasty generalizations and noted that a lot of Marvel movie fans were bullied for being nerds or geeks when it wasn't mainstream. Marin wasn't having any of that. <clears throat> he described Anderton's approach as a, quote, good inverted bully tactic to cite the millions who love comic book films. He then described uh, it as, quote, almost fascistic. Uh, throughout the back and forth on Twitter, Marin would eventually come to the conclusion that he's allowed to have his opinion. He just shouldn't uh, use the words like nerd or grown man child. He also believes that, quote, any suggestion of cultural infantilism was triggering. Personally, I think this is all smoke and mirrors. Marin has a reputation as a, as a comedian, and I think DC and Warner Brothers are taking a little bit out of uh, Marvel's playbook. Uh, they are using one of their actors to go after their competitor in order to gin up some controversy and get people talking about the Joker film, or at least the actor in the Joker film. For those unfamiliar with this tactic, just check, check out what Marvel Studios has been doing for the past year, and specifically look at uh, Captain Marvel and Brie Larson. It might be a good short-term tactic uh, to get interest sparked about the film, but I'm not quite sure it's a long-term tactic. Uh, the Marvel and, I guess, Disney is kind of using the same playbook with Star Wars, uh, and we're seeing that kind of play out right now. It'll be really interesting to see what happens with... Uh, uh, Rise of Skywalker and whether or not uh, you see the kind of box office numbers that Force Awakens and The Last Jedi brought about. Uh, it doesn't look like that's happening. Uh, Google Trends charts shows uh, almost a flatline interest in Rise of Skywalker compared to uh, Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. And you saw an absolute bomb in Solo. Uh, so let's get back to Marin here, though. Uh, well, I think for the most part, this is a marketing tactic. I think there is some truth to what Marin is saying regarding Marvel film fans. There is a religious aspect to MCU fans. We saw it play out just recently with the reaction to Spider-Man and Tom Holland exiting the MCU. People were pissed at Sony, uh, so much so that Sony had to issue a statement to try and get the heat off of them. And uh, it really wasn't pretty. They actually tried to kind of direct the anger back towards uh, Disney and Marvel and, and Kevin Feige, indicating he had too much on his plate in order to, to deal with Spider-Man. Uh, as for his male nerd child comments, I don't really take an issue with it. I'm an adult male who enjoys a wide array of things. I love my comic book movies. I love my comic books. Uh, obviously, I prefer the more adult-themed ones, like Nolan's Batman trilogy, Watchmen, and uh, Captain America the Winter Soldier. Uh, the MCU uh, films, I mean, I go and see them and I, and I enjoy them, but uh, some of the comedic moments have gotten a little grating uh, for me. I'm looking at you, Thor Ragnarok. Uh, but that's not to say I don't have other tastes. Uh, I, I mean, I'm a huge Washington Capitals fan, 2008 Stanley Cup champions. Uh, I also, I mean, love me some good short track racing. Um, 
I mean, late model stock cars are, are like, I mean, I just love it. I can't get enough. Uh, and I, I also like, I have an interest in philosophy and, uh, and politics. So I'm not, I'm, I'm sure there will be people who take issue with his comments about that, but I mean, he's just using a common stereotype uh, for comic book fans. I don't think there's anything really wrong with that. I mean, there's a reason the stereotype exists, right? I mean, uh, comic books uh, and comic book movies, at least uh, early on in their conception, were predominantly uh, uh, had male, young male audiences. I mean, I think that's obviously changed given since they've kind of taken over the cultural zeitgeist, uh, especially with the MCU films, but I, I, I really don't see an issue with him uh, using a common stereotype. Uh, but I want to know what you think about Marin's comments. Do you think there's a kernel of truth in what he is saying? Uh, let me know by leaving a comment below. My name is John Trent, and you've been watching Bounding into Comics.